Whoa, help! My rope grab just saved me! This is a rope grab, also known as a fall arrester or a rope ascender. The device can be used as a backup safety instrument when you are working a diagonal slope like a roof or beams or when you are outright working with vertical ropes. It is like a check valve for ropes. It allows you to move the rope freely in one direction and that is generally going up. But when you fall down, it will arrest or stop the fall. It is simple to use. You just insert the rope between these mechanisms and you lock close the side. I can easily slide the gadget towards the right, but the reverse will not hold true. It will lock. I cannot pull the rope. See? I can pull the rope to the left, but I cannot pull the rope to the right. In order to release the rope lock, I need to press on the other end of the lever. The clip that you see will then open up and allow you to move the rope freely between. So once you have inserted the rope, you just flip close the side and that's it. And you insert your carbiner through this hole in the middle. So let me just show you how it works on a vertical rope. So there's a sturdy rope and here is the uh, rope grab gadget. You open the side. You insert the rope in between the mechanisms and then you slide close the side and it's locked. See, it's not going to go down, but it easily goes up. See, you can easily pull it up, but it's not going to slide down. And that's why it's called a rope ascender. If you clip on the release lever, you can now easily slide it up and down. This is the front view so you can see it better. So clip that portion of the lever and it releases the lock. If you release the lever, it locks going down, but it allows you to go up. So it's like a one-way check valve for the rope. So as a safety device, when you are working diagonal slopes like a roof or vertical ropes, it will allow you to easily move up, but it will lock when you are going to fall down. So it is a fall arrester. It is a good safety device. Tree arborists use this. Mountaineers use this. Linemen use this. Let's go check it out on this diagonal slope over here. It will simulate our roof, okay? Because it is diagonally inclined, and if you are doing some work like painting or riveting, you might lose your balance. So, you attach the rope at the end. And then, you attach your rope grab to the rope. Wherein, you attach your carbiner to your harness. Okay, let's now carefully thread up this diagonal slope. So if you are cleaning the roof, if you are painting the roof, if you are repairing damages on any inclined surfaces, you are bound to lose your balance. And this device will protect you from unwanted accidents. See? So if you lose your balance, this will act as a fall arrester. It will prevent you from falling all the way through. You can carefully move your way up and you can also carefully release the rope by pressing on the release lever. So if you suddenly lose your balance or a strong gust of wind occurs or an earthquake or whatever, this rope grab will prevent you from falling down and incurring accidents. Let us now check it out if we are working vertical or near vertical ladders. So again, you attach the rope grab mechanism to the rope and then you attach it to your body harness. So I can easily ascend the ladder and easily drag up the rope grab mechanism. But once I start to go down or if I lose my balance and tip backwards, the rope grab is going to hold. So let's see what happens if we lose our balance. Whoa, there! See, it held. Whoa, whoa, there you go. 
So, you had the exciting swing but the rope grab prevented you from hitting the ground. If you did not have that rope grab mechanism, the fall might have resulted in serious injuries. An ounce of prevention is better than a pound of cure. You never know when, where, and how an accident will occur. On hindsight, we all have 2020 perfect vision. And regrets are usually too late. But what doesn't kill you makes you stronger and smarter. So guys, always remember, safety first. There's a couple of basic knots that you can use in lieu of this rope grab mechanism. Such as the Prusik knot or the Blake's hitch. They will cost you nothing but it's a little bit difficult to move it up and down. That is, when you compare it to the ease of moving up and down the rope grab mechanism. Now let's test the ease of moving up and down using the rope grab mechanism. So here I have a foot stirrup which I attach to this carbiner which I will attach to this rope grab mechanism. So we will put all our weight on this foot stirrup and then we will check to see if we can easily move up the rope grab mechanism. Look, without any force or pressure, just by pressing on the release lever, I can easily move it down. I will now step on the foot stirrup, adding pressure. I will release my foot and attempt to howl it up. Okay, no problem. I was easily able to hoist it up. I will add more pressure by stepping on the foot stirrup again. Okay, now I will try to slide it up again. Again, no problem. I can easily slide it up as soon as I release the pressure. Again, I will step on the foot stirrup, adding my full weight. Okay, again, as I release my weight, I am easily able to slide the rope grab mechanism up. There, I am now swinging my full weight on the rope grab, grabbing through the rope. Okay, again, after releasing my weight, I am able to easily slide the rope grab mechanism up. So the rope grab mechanism offers you the mobility to easily move up and down the rope. You can easily ascend the rope and it will break your fall if you lose your balance. If you are interested in these kinds of activities, we have a playlist in our channel that shows you the different basic knots and some interesting gadgets that can make climbing up and down ropes or roof activities more fun. Do hit the like and subscribe button. Don't forget the notification bell so you will be updated of my next upload. Do comment down below so I can get back to you as soon as I can. And until our next upload, this is your host saying thank you for tuning in and thank you for watching.